welcome to my initial review of the DJI Mini 5 Pro which just came out last week. Um, I've been out in the field today flying this and I've done a number of videos about the various different features on this. Welcome to a beautiful sunny day in North Devon. I'm here in the field, we've got 20 to 5, 30 acres here, to do the testing on the Mini 5 Pro, the new Mini 5 Pro, the DJI Mini 5 Pro, which has just recently come out. The testing I'm going to do today is individual videos on the various intelligent flight modes. You've got quick shots, master shots, active track, uh, spotlight. I'm also going to have a look at vision assist and these will all be in individual videos rather than one large pack together. So short, sharp, to the point videos. There are five key elements to the improvements on this drone. They are, the first is the camera. Looking at it now and it's folded up, you've got this new cover which comes off quite easily and then inside that is the new camera. Now the major difference on this is it's a one inch sensor whereas the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 Pro were one over one third sensors and that's a 55% improvement on the size of the actual sensor. It's the same camera or the same camera as the primary camera in the Air 3S and looking at the differences on the sensor because it's larger it's actually not a, a, an inch it's that goes back to the old CRT cathode ray tube uh, measurements it's actually 0.63 across rather than 0.51 across so it's a 55 percent improvement but it's not actually a one inch sensor the camera in the first instance with the larger sensor gives a better image quality it also works far better in low light circumstances so dusk dawn the golden hour the blue hour you'll see a big improvement in those areas and I'll, I'll show you some footage comparing it to that here's the video at late golden hour and this is with a bit of post-production editing with a little bit of light introduced into it here's the same video at two times zoom and the post edited video with some exposure now this is really dark, this is well into the blue hour. Here's the two time zoom looking down the street towards the sea in the distance. And here's the edited version with a little bit of exposure introduced into it. The video image quality on the Mini 5 Pro in low light conditions is a major improvement over the Mini 4 Pro. Let's now take a look and compare the still image quality. In the camera settings you can set either 12 megapixels or 50 megapixels. In the high resolution 50 megapixel mode, each individual pixel on the sensor captures its own information, leading to a very high resolution image with the maximum detail. If you select the low resolution 12 megapixel mode, something called pixel binning is active. That means the camera combines every four pixels into one large super pixel. This larger pixel gathers more light which significantly improves low light performance and reduces digital noise and this makes a clear difference in low light conditions. I'm now going to go outside in the field and take some images of the golf course in 50 megapixel and 12 megapixel modes and then we'll have a look at the images and compare the results. And let's take the photograph. We can have a look at that in detail. I'm now going to go two times zoom. Just adjust it up a little bit. Take the photo again. So those are both at 50 megapixels. If I now come out of that and I go to 12 megapixels which is merging four of the pixels together should be a sharper finish but we'll see what happens I'm going to take the same photograph at two times zoom I'm actually going to come back out to one time zoom and click on the same photograph and we'll have a look at those photographs individually and discuss the results here's the first 50 megapixel image at one time zoom same image at two times zoom and then we drop down to 12 megapixels two times zoom and then 12 megapixels with no zoom. 
when I compare the four images, the 50 megapixel and the 12 megapixel look very similar. But when I punch in in Lightroom, you can see there's a clear difference between the 50 and the 12 megapixel images. In conclusion, if you have good light conditions, if you want the best results, use the 50 megapixel setting. But in dark light conditions, the opposite is true. Here's a still image at the golden hour, taken at 12 megapixels, which has gathers more light. There's the 50 me megapixel image. And when I punch in on Lightroom, you can see there's the 12 megapixel image. And when you punch in on the 50 megapixel, you can clearly see the difference. There's so much more noise in that one. The camera also rotates when it's flying along and you can rotate it 225 degrees that's from minus 45 through to 180 degrees and there is a, a, a new shot called rotate it'll also turn f portrait like the mini 3 and the mini 4 do but with when it's turned portrait you have a full uh, movement of camera up and down the drone has now has more dynamic range like 14 stops of dynamic range this is what the one inch sensor gives you it also has a two times digital zoom and the digital zoom works so well it, you could mistake it for an optical zoom it isn't but it, the quality that dji have got on this um, two times zoom is amazing the lens goes on the two times zoom from um, 24 mil through to 48 millimeters and it's a it's it's a, a really crisp zoom you'll see some examples now on the screen of different shots i've taken with the zoom what it has is a 24 mil lens with a medium tele lens of 48 mil with actually a two times zoom and here is the video at the full zoom two times zoom and then i'm zooming back out to one time zoom and this drone is probably 250 to 300 meters away from that building. So you can see the quality of the image. The second major upgrade is collision avoidance. And on the collision avoidance, they've improved the sensors and they've in included these LiDAR sensors in the middle. Now what those LiDAR sensors do is they allow you to get closer to objects in really low light conditions and improve the low light performance of the drone. And this is why you can get closer to objects in the dark. The lux levels that, that they work on here is supposedly one lux, which is one candle. So the low light performance of these sensors is exceptional for a small drone. Also, the improved performance of the sensors improves the automated flight mode here i am out in the field using spotlight mode and the distances that these modes will work away from you have been improved because they've moved to ocusync 4 plus and the range and the stability for this ocusync 4 plus has improved over the old mini 4 pro there is an auto mode now where you can just let the drone do its own thing. And there are two new shooting modes. You can set it for cycling and skiing or the original standard mode. I'm now going to select auto mode and the drone will decide whether it wants to be on the inner circle or the outer circle. As I walk forward, the drone is making the decision. Now it's made a decision to go round to the rear of me on my left. Now I've changed this, my direction and it's changed again. And the drone is making all the location decisions in relation to me on its own in auto mode. The third improvement is the battery. Now the battery is now 36 minutes rather than 34 minutes. And the batteries, you can, you can see that this drone is now a different color. It's the same color as the more modern Mavic for Pro that came out a couple of months ago and if I take this battery out you can insert and it'll allow you to use the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 batteries but you can see the difference in colour there. Now 
you can use these batteries they are heavier this battery is 70 grams the mini uh, th four battery is 78 and the mini three battery is 80 grams so these two ba these batteries are heavier and there's a lower um, minutes on the actual battery of down to 34 minutes rather than 36 minutes they are not backward compatible you can't use the mini 5 battery in a mini 3 or a mini 4 drone they're not backward compatible you get an error message but the other way around you can if you've got existing mini 3 and mini 4 batteries you can use them in this drone they just fit in straight fine and they have no problem the fourth major difference is the propellers they are bayonet fittings like the Air 3S they just push on and off very easily take them off take them back on again and they fold out their centrifugal props they're not like the old Mini 3 and Mini 4 props where you have to screw them in and you've got the screws on the top they were fiddly you could thread the screws quite easily if you didn't use the right screwdriver this is a major improvement over this the fifth major improvement is software upgrades. You can, in the settings, set the drone so when you open the drone out for the first time, the, it powers on. And when you close it down, it powers off. Those are software settings. You can switch it on and off, like the Mavic 4 Pro. The second improvement on the, uh, the, of the, on the software, which is notable, is internal storage. The, the, Mini 3 and Mini 4 had 2 gigabytes of internal storage. This has got 42 gigabytes. So if you forget to use the, or you don't have an SD card, or your SD card's faulty, or you or you, you fill the SD card, it still has an extra storage of 42 gigabytes. And the final notable software upgrade is on the active tracking. The tracking with these new sensors on the front is much better, and there are software upgrades which mirror the Mavic 4 Pro so you can locate the drone on an inner circle or an outer circle you can change those circles the diameter of those circles from the outer and the inner you can change the height of those circles and you can on the fly press the button or have it do it automatically hope that's helpful happy flying bye for now if you enjoyed this video then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded.